was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Nice. Every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Oh, Seknarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknarf 9 is a sanctuary. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flock in infinity bridge is what it is. Oh, uh, you've been dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin, as a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. When you stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. while I'm stuck in a flarkin' cage, please. <sighs> Does anybody have, like, a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 
Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says she can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. He's a ghost, he is no one. The thunder when it comes will bring with it many guns. Gypsy woman said, she said, for your time grows near. You can't run forever, gotta stand and face your fear. If push comes to shove, we'll bring hell down from above. Do not be right straight into the fire. So cool. Are you ready to go, go, go? We'll make our stand. stand. Don't give a damn. damn. This is our time to go from zero to hero. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh, somebody's got a girlfriend. Is it Janie? Oh, yes. It's not Janie. She is so smart. Love Janie. Okay, I'm just teasing. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. 
Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. How are you getting to the movie? Andy said his older brother would give us a ride. Make sure he brings you back too. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I don't know much about art. But I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sometimes grandma and grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I 
I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The Clark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his- on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space could have no trust your gymnastics. Look what we Wait, got what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't I be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to do. It out. ain't neutrino splice. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I am Groot. Bonafide fide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. Alright, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it... I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen one of those team. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. No, it's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the police of hospital surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow. Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> Not yours. Come over near the cave, and say that again. This place is cool and all, but could it fit the entire Guardians of the Galaxy fleet? We have a fleet. Then why must we suffer aboard such a small ship? He means... <sighs> Never mind. The skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh! Explained the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! They have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. We got it.
got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. When will it reach its big size? Big size? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. What would you call it? It is a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. If I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a woodland creature. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. Big, scary, trigger happy monster. And what would you like for the... Hell Beast? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less. Twenty 
20,000? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like 12. No. Nine, then. Uh, the creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am Quill. And Groot's not for sale. Rocket got us into this mess, he can get us out. Peace, King. We just gotta get back to all the elevators. Do not get us killed with your recklessness, Rodent. You're lecturing me? You went on an intergalactic killing spree! It's not too late to add one more to that spree. We got company! About time! Beast has spoiled our plans! It always count on you to take the obvious tracks! Bomb it out of big guy! Man, she's got no shortage of hired guns! Hellbender's not one to negotiate! Where's my money, you stunt knuckles? We'd be paid Touch by now if it weren't for you! There goes any repeat business! I ain't taking orders from that skull suit anyway! It is beyond question. Lady Hellbender is flirting with me. This guy gets hit on once, and it goes right to his head! Hellbender will search every corner of the galaxy for us! Let her try! Throw that, Drax! <laughs> These guys don't waste any time! I'll be sure to kill him quick! The rodents was a poor choice for our floor! You can always count on you to stake the obvious, Drax! Destroy! Destroy! Two We're headed the right way! Maybe! Yeah! Yep, real smooth plan so far. Hey, 
At least I'm pulling my weight. And there's not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. Like I said, piece of cake. One volt, right for the table. Five thousand units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Branch out, crew! Watch those elevators! My temper is elevated! Gratitude is not my current sentiment. All right, nobody's perfect. Some of us served a mad titan, and some went a little nuts hunting him down. And some of us get a little touchy being called worthless. You are not worthless, Rocket. But he's clearly worth less to Hellbender. She says she would have bought Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. Oh, fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my hairy paws. I 
knew we shouldn't have stole that flarkin' rat! Who you calling a rat? You... ...was clearly referring to you, am I correct? If the shoe fits. Joke's on you. I don't even wear shoes. Everybody, quiet! Come on! We'll cut them off at the vault! Does not seem perfect. It means we're headed the right way. Straight into an ambush. You know what's coming? It ain't an ambush, is it? Just another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a night with the big loot. My gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. 12? How'd you get 12? It's a measure of my growing frustration. All we gotta do is grab the goods, hijack one of them elevators, and book it back to the Milan. Home free. And he's made a new powerful enemy for life. Please. Hellbender's a thug, and I know thugs. This is all just business to them. She just needs some time to cool off. Her body temperature is not the issue. 